Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Zidi. Today, a short TA update. What the f happened yesterday with Bitcoin? The huge crash. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to also tell you um, what to expect next if we look at the charts. And there was one chart I shared, like I think in July, that I'm going to look back at now, which is really cool. So make sure you watch the video completely till the end. Let's quickly jump into the first chart, and that would be bam. I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more first chart we are going to look at is the one hour chart on the Aurox platform. Yes, Bitcoin. Um, I'm going to look at if the Bam Bam indicator on the one hour chart told us to short that yesterday's dip. Let's have a look at the Bam Bam indicator. We see a short flag there exactly at six o'clock on the 7th of September. That is one, two, three, four hours before the huge dip. We see a candle closing down below the yellow stepping line over there. That's a second confirmation. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Then we go to the bottom. We see a red line on top, third confirmation. We see a red dot, fourth confirmation. We see yellow and blue, fifth confirmation. And the bam bam, that one already crossed at the same time at the flag, the flag there six confirmations there are six confirmations that we need to take a short we can't predict the deepness of the short but it's confirming that we need to make a short now let's take that short very late here the short flag was at let's say seven six o'clock we take the short at nine o'clock so three hours later so you have three hours to take that short from that moment on, guys, till the ultimate bottom um, was like 18%. Of course, we wouldn't have sold there. We would have sold at that long flag probably over there, which was around 11%. This is without leverage. With a leverage of 10, that would be a 100% trade because of the Bam Bam indicator. And yes, also on the 15 minute, um, this uh, the indicator already showed that short so whatever level um, <clears throat> whatever time frame you're trading here you can see it that short it was a very valid short really cool now let's jump into here bam um, this chart um, shows you i shared this one in july 21 21st july that also the bam indicator works on the weekly time frame because on the 20 on the 5th of july sorry on on the 5th of july like you can see here in 2021 it gave a long flag in bitcoin that was at 28k we went all the way to up now to 50k that's a lot of profit if you just took that trade on the weekly chart with the bam bam indicator now bam next chart gaussian channel this one we told you yesterday we need to break out of it and like you can see we almost broke out of it and then this next candle here, the 3rd of September, was breaking out of it yesterday, but now it didn't break out of it. This is the, this is the BLX, it's so lagging behind. I'm going to check it on the uh, buy bit chart. You can see it here very clearly. We went above it, but we closed in the Gaussian channel, and now we are going down. Can we go to the level of 38,000 US dollar? Yes, we can. We need to break out of this Gaussian channel. It's just very important, guys. Okay, I will keep you up to date on this. Okay, let's jump into the next chart. Bam, over here, the weekly chart. In July, I posted this one on Twitter. I told you there, if we copy and paste the first two weeks of July 2013 and 2017 onto the first two weeks of the current bull run, this is how 2021 could look. I'm not predicting the cycle, but I'm just showing how fast BTC grew in those two previous two cycles from July to the top in December. Yes, we could go to 24k, we didn't, but then we can also go to 100k. I told you guys, just keep buying Bitcoin. When I posted that, 
at that point, you can see here, the blue line is a copy of the 2013 move from July this year, and the green line, the 2017 move. If we now take a look at that moment, this is the blue line where, the, where I posted it, we, we pretty awesomely <laughs> followed that blue line, the 2013 copy. I'm going to delete that green line now for a second. If we look at that blue line, how perfectly we have been following that, even here now, with that drop, look, we dropped exactly to that EMA ribbon. Now, if we would continue to follow this line, yes, we would go up 13th of September, yes, we go up to 20th of September, but even now, in the last week of September, we could drop back all the way to 36,000 US dollar before this explosive run will start to all the way above 120,000 US dollar. So, yes, we could be following the 2013 move, so yes, we could go even lower, so not freaking out, but zooming out is the most important message I want to give today. Bam, and that is what you see when you look at the monthly chart. On the monthly chart, we keep fighting that midline that I told you about yesterday, and we need to break that midline to reach the top somewhere here in December. Um, don't freak out. This month still has 22 days. This red candle there can still turn green. We can even close above 50K. All is possible. Like you saw yesterday, all is possible because yesterday we saw very beautifully that um, bam, we could even see a 10K candle in 10 hours down. And we can also see a 10K candle in 10 hours up. Believe me, I've seen Bitcoin moving before. It's crazy. You know what happened yesterday? Yesterday there was a huge liquidation. There was almost $4 billion of liquidations on multiple exchanges. This is what we call flush outs. There was a flush out over here. That was the one um, you remember, I think, in August. And now again, uh, there's a huge flush out here. Um, and I think it's part of the game. I don't like that part of the game, but it is part of the game. And which exchanges did have the biggest uh, liquidations? We can see that, bam, over here. Um, in this chart, you can see that it was on Binance, 43 million, uh, Bybit, 127 million, Deribit, 50 million, FTX, this is, this is the place where the professional traders uh, trade, 850 million so there's a lot of losses even by professional traders guys in total 3.6 billion us dollar was liquidated and that is exactly what i just want to end this video with because it's very important to understand guys that bam you need to decide if you are a trader or a hodler are you just accumulating as much as possible bitcoins by dollar cost averaging or do you really want to trade and if you want to trade do you want to spot trade or do you want to leverage trade spot trade you cannot be liquidated leverage trading you can be liquidated and that is a very important part to understand if you get liquidated you lose your bitcoins so you need to make up your mind what kind of trader am I, what kind of risk do I want to create and what kind of portfolio do I want to create around that risk um, that I want to take. For me, I do all the stuff. I leverage trade, I spot trade, I swing trade, I just hold a lot of bitcoins because I believe in the long term. And I accumulate bitcoins by selling t-shirts, whatever, speaking on conferences, yes. I do it all because I'm living this 24-7 Bitcoin life. For you, you need to make a decision for yourself. If you want to spot trade or leverage trade, then the indicators like the Bam Bam indicator could be very helpful like you have seen. They can help you to tell you when to buy and when to sell. They are not able to predict the future, but they can be a tool to help you ease your mind when it comes to trading. You don't need to do the calculations yourselves. And, and if you want to trade all of that, then please use the referral links down below the video. At Femix, I think we have a $4,000 bonus. <clears throat> I think at Bybit, there is also like a $1,600 bonus. At uh, Prime XBT, a 50% deposit bonus, which means if you deposit two Bitcoins, you get one Bitcoin extra to play. That's a lot of free money. If you get $1,600 um, on Bybit, that means if you trade with a leverage of 10 or 20, that's almost $20,000 you can trade freely with. Guys, um, be wise, 
only play with money that you can afford to lose like you saw yesterday you can lose a lot if you play with too much risk and um, i hope you um really enjoyed today's video again if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about the liquidations yesterday what do you think about these helpful tools like the bam bam could they be helpful to you let me know down below in the comments thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again BAM!